So my name's Claire Steele King. I work at the University of York in the Bioscience Technology Facility and I work with uh, microscopes, lots of different sorts of microscopes. So within the Bioscience Technology Facility at the University of York, there are six specialist labs which contain sort of high-end research equipment that you wouldn't have in individual research groups. And that means that we can provide a facility that is available to lots of different people and we can help them with their experimental design to be able to answer the sort of questions that they need to answer for their work and their research. So one of those labs is the Imaging and Cytometry Lab and cytometry being the study of cells and so we have different sorts of microscopes, light microscopes, electron microscopes and flow cytometers which is the study of cells and cell sorting. Um, my specialism there is in electron microscopy so that's when you're imaging at very high magnifications, very high resolutions, being able to look at the ultrastructure inside cells. I also do work with fluorescent microscopes and confocal microscopes but electron microscopy is probably my my, my baby really, so that's the one I do most work with. My route into my current job is that I started with a biology degree and then I went to do a PhD in uh, plant cell biology, um, looking actually at organelle and vesicle trafficking, so how, how um, proteins move from the endoplasmic reticulum through the Golgi apparatus to the uh, plasma membrane. Um, and I was working with a fantastic guy there who was um, doing a lot of electron microscopy and was uh, very instrumental in early confocal work. Um, and so that got me interested in plant science and then I went on and did plant science at Reading University for a year or so and then I was at Leeds, um, both of those working as a postdoc and then I moved to York and took up a role as um, a technical specialist um, which coincided with um, having um, had, a, had a family and then being able to work part-time but still say, say doing something that I loved in in research, so balancing that against other, other factors in my life at that time. Um, and so my plant research has been both from a kind of cell vesicle trafficking point of view originally, then I was looking at vesicles um, and vesicle fusion and how that's important in the formation of cell plates in plant cell division. When I moved to York I was working initially on stomatal patterning and why you get stomata in certain places within um, cell leaves, so stomata are very important in helping with um, gas diffusion in, in cells. Um, and then I moved to a group that was working on second generation bio fuels and that's a that was a very um, kind of popular topic at the time very um, in in vogue really so um, second generation biofuels is about being able to make um, liquid biofuels from uh, from plants to help with that fossil fuel crisis um, but obviously if we make uh, liquid biofuels from sugar so the grain of a crop then there's then a kind of food, food fuel um, uh, balance to be made if we're using it for fuel we can't be using it for food so that causes a problem but there's as much sugar which is what we need to make the biofuels bound up in the stem of a, of a, of a a crop or a grass as there is in the grain um, and it's just how we get that sugar out and they're able to use that sugar so I was I was working on that in a, in a group that was working on that for several years and then also doing quite a lot of lab management there as well um, and then uh, I had an opportunity to go back to my first love of microscopy um, and move into the technology facility so I've been there since 2020. The best thing about my job, there are lots of factors that I love about my job. I get to work with some really great kits and I get to work with some really great people. And the job is very varied because I'm doing a lot of electron microscopy, but the samples that I'm working with are completely different for different people. Um, and there's more than one type of electron microscope as well. There's transmission microscopes and scanning microscopes. And there's a whole network of electron microscopists all over the country. And we talk to each other about new techniques and challenges that we're facing so it's that's that's brilliant I love helping people to answer the questions that they need to using this fantastic net technology I like the variety of my job so for me now my specialism is in the techniques rather than the research area so in a lot of research is based around a particular research topic and you might use different techniques to answer those questions so I'm kind of working the other way that I'm dealing with 
the techniques and helping people to use that to answer lots of different research questions depending on who's asking them and what they need to know.